Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whenever you are, I know that this year is very, very difficult for all of us. So far, since February, we have witnessed six major crises. Started in February by the earthquake in Turkey and Syria, which claimed the life of at least 50,000 people and destroyed many, many tens of thousands of buildings. Then after that, in 15th of Feb uh, April, we witnessed the armed conflict in Khartoum, which is claiming the life of few thousands and making displacement of people, of hundreds of thousands of people in different districts in Sudan and few thousand refugees to the neighboring, no, to the neighboring countries. On 8th of September, we witnessed another earthquake in Morocco which claimed the life of at least 3,000 people. On the 10th of September, we witnessed the Daniel storm and flooding in Derna, which up to now did not have the final count of the dead and the number of people who disappeared in this could be measured or calculated in tens of thousands. Nobody knows yet. Then on the 7th of October, we started to see was happening in Gaza of the armed conflict, which claimed the life of few thousand people, but more, more, more injured people. And the last and not least is the earthquake in Afghanistan on the 7th of October, which also claiming the life at least of three to four thousand people. All these events incidents and disasters should not stop us, should not let us to feel down, should not let us to feel despair, should not let us to be emotionally disturbed and withdrawn. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet said, Inna illaha ibadan ikhtasam bihqada hawaij al-nas. Allah has chosen some of his slaves and made them to be responsible to respond to the needs of people. You are such people. Habbabahum al khair led such slaves like you to love the act of goodness, khair, and led the acts of goodness to love them, to come towards them. Like you are sitting in some places and al khair is coming towards you because you are the choice of Allah. إنهم إنكم الآمنون من عذاب الله يوم القيامة. You are the ones who will be saved and safe from the punishment of Allah at the day of judgment. So don't let, don't, don't, don't ever, or never let this incident to affect your morale. You are the special people that Allah has chosen and put on your shoulder all this responsibility to stand up for humanity to help humanity, to protect humanity, to save humanity, and to build and reconstruct the communities of those people again and again and again. أشد الناس بلاء أن الأنبياء. The people will be more affected. And living a hardship life or life hardship are the prophets. Then the good people, then the companion, then 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 people like yourself. So when Allah has chosen you to carry this responsibility, this is an honor. This is an honor. This is an honor because you are the chosen people of Allah whom he is pointing his finger to each and every one of you, every one of you and telling the angels, these are my slaves. I know them. They are doing it and they are going to be successful, and I'm going to support them in this life and in the life to come. You will find a lot of baraka coming to you while you study, coming to your family, your children, your rizq, because you are the chosen people of Allah, whom Allah puts you in front or in the middle of the khair, the act of goodness. Please, sisters and brothers, don't feel despair. Don't feel down. 
Don't lose your morale because you are the choice of Allah. You are the choice of Allah. You are the choice of Allah. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah give you as much as you can carry. And if you ask Allah to let you to carry more, He will give you the strength to carry more and more and more. And now we imagine the suffering of those people. I remember a story of one of our brothers who was in Morocco. And 10 times he went to interview some families who became displaced after the earthquake. 10 times, whenever he come to a place where they are, you know what they told him? Brothers, can we make you a cup of tea? Can we offer you something to drink? Something to eat? The man could not be able to find that the people who are affected by the earthquake are welcoming, are very hospitable, are very caring for their guest. He went into tears because those people should be suffering and crying and screaming. No, they were not. They accepted it as a will of Allah, as a test. While they are in hardship, they were offering, offering help to their guests, hosting, being generous to their guests. So why should you feel down? Why? Allah has given us all this vision, all this energy, all this strength, all this wisdom, all these resources to use it by actually telling Allah, thank you for choosing me. I am the follower of the prophets. I am the follower of the messengers. I am the follower of the reformers. I am the one whom with your blessing will fulfill my duty towards your people. Towards your people. That's the responsibility. Islam and the Iman is about how you become a responsible individual towards communities, towards your neighbors, towards your family, towards yourself, towards everybody in the community. But Allah will make you happy by choosing you, not anyone else. Because you are the chosen slave of Allah whom he trusts. All of you, and please keep going. Don't stop. We have to rebuild these communities in Syria, in Turkey, in Sudan, Afghanistan, in Gaza, and in Libya and Morocco. And as I said, we don't know the climate change. What else will happen before the end of the year or next year? and different parts of the world. So let us agree together that we are the chosen people of Allah, the chosen slave of Allah, who Allah responding us. I'll conclude by saying, but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once upon a time, he was sitting and talking about you. He said, I am thinking to see my beloved brothers, I am I have the desire. The companion told him, Aren't we your beloved, your beloved brothers? I said, No, you are my companions. My beloved brothers and sisters are you, each and every one of you, the people who believe in me without seeing me. The action of each and every one of you is equivalent to the action of 50 of you. He was talking about you, whether you're in Canada, or in America, or in UK, in Egypt, in Syria, everywhere. He wanted to see you. He dreams about you. And Allah has chosen you to respond to all these calamities. May Allah bless you and keep going. Rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then rely on your resources and Allah will give you tawfiq. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.